So I'm Charles Frecchia. I'm the CEO and founder of BioBright. Uh, BioBright is a small biotech company uh, whose goal is to augment the human ability of doing science in the lab. Uh, by that I mean we create uh, voice assistant, uh, augmented reality systems that actually augment the human capability to do science, to collect information, centralize it, and analyze it. So the typical lab environment today is, is an environment that is actually very uh, low technologically speaking. Uh, it's very old fashioned. Uh, many of the tools that we have are decades old um, and actually are not conducive to doing the data driven discovery um, that should be happening really in this field. Uh, you have uh, tools like pipettes, you have equipment that doesn't connect to machines or has outdated uh, connection mechanisms uh, that have proprietary formats. Uh, all of that stands in the way of doing longitudinal and data driven discovery in this environment. So this is one of the major areas where we are uh, changing the game of how biology is done in the lab is we have technology that allows you to actually collect the information when it's generated, when and where it's generated, centralize it, and again, analyze it um, in, in an enhanced way. There's a major issue right now in the biotechnology and biomedical research field, which really is the reproducibility issue. It's been dubbed the reproducibility crisis, uh, and it's been actually amounted to about between 10 and 50 billion dollars uh, annually, and that's in the U.S. alone. Uh, this is due to the fact that the tools really are not, again, conducive to this ability to reproduce these experiments. So more often than not, when a scientist does an experiment, whether it succeeds or it fails, it's very difficult to actually uh, determine the root cause of, of, of that success or failure. Uh, the, the tools really aren't uh, collecting of the information that is necessary to determine that. Uh, so you will have problems uh, in the academic world where papers are f not really reproducible. We've seen this recently in a number of uh, high profile cases, um, not because it's malicious in most cases, just because the information uh, that needs to be recorded is not recorded. The information in biological systems runs everywhere from picoseconds to hours, days, months. Um, humans are quite good at collecting information in kind of the minute range, uh, but anywhere around that is very difficult, uh, surely very difficult for a human to collect information in the picosecond range. So, um, but also it's very difficult for the human to draw insights from hours or even days or numbers of experiments we, which may have been done uh, across months uh, sometimes. So really, this is the root cause of, of, of this reproducibility crisis, is that there's a fundamental difficulty in the science, but the tools are inadequate to actually solve this problem and collect that information.